I can't remember what these were called. The ball things were called Biru Birus. I can't remember what they're called now. But yeah, it's just, it seems everything's had a name change. I can't remember what the name of the bugbear was changed to. I think Harpy remained the same. But for the most part, everything has changed. I think these were G... G slimes. Or G goo. I really can't remember. Oh, uh, Nergigante. Nice. How did that go? I'm assuming it was fun. I remember f fighting that bloody thing. Twas a pain. Will I be able to actually get new people in my party? I'd quite like to have Bo, just so I can hunt stuff. Effectively. Well, with Bo, you don't need to be right next to the enemy, you just need to be on the same line as them. Jesus Christ, how many fucking things do I need to fight? <laughs> and also, these things are called Lil Goblins. I can't remember what they were called before. Thing is, it's been a while since I played the actual... legit version. So I can't remember all the stuff it was. Like, everything was called in that game. Or in that version. Hey! Whoa! This place has changed. Oh yeah, he's not even called Bo anywhere. <laughs> he's called Bosch. But to be fair, his name is Bosch Bo. And then I think it has a last name, but I can't remember it. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Welcome to our new home! Ain't this place the sweetest? Who'd guess it? It all used to be a smelly old dump. Take a look, we got our own room. No landlady or nothing. I told you staying here was a great idea. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering what he was doing. Oh my god, look at this place! No, this is the snares version. So, this is your village. Rather, uh, quaint. Yes, quaint. Ahem. <laughs> so, you, your companions, the floppy-eared fellow, and the old man are the only ones who live here. Who you calling floppy-eared? Sides, we're not the only ones living here. There's the big guy upstairs, too. A fellow by the name of Rand. Couldn't miss him if you tried. Hey, Nina, why don't you and I check this place out? <laughs> Ryu, Nina, and I are going to take a look around the place. That's okay with you, right? You too, Stan. <laughs> Coming, my mistress. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes, I promised I would grant you the blessing of the Lord Eva, didn't I? Now that is a great honor to receive this benediction. Through his grace, one of you shall be able to, to cast the raised dead spell. Decide amongst yourselves who is to receive the blessing, then speak with me again. Uh, Nina? Considering? I would probably go with Nina. Of course I want to continue my journey. Although well, one thing I probably should say is, while this is the SNES version, I have applied a retranslation patch because... If you just get the US version of Breath of Fire 2 on SNES, the localization is pure garbage. So, have you decided? Sure have! Then who shall receive this blessing? Uh, I think I said Bosch. Jesus, that would have been a terrible mistake. Nina! Very well then. May you go with the everlasting light of the Lord Eva. Yeah, I don't know what the bloody hell happened. <laughs> Just localization is terrible. I mean, I did do three sessions of the game without having a retranslation patch, but when I got to around Windia was when I noticed just how bad the dialogue and how awkward it was to read. I'm just like, what the hell are they trying to say? It makes no sense. I thank you again for your assistance. No one must take my leave. The Lord Eva's grace be with you. Always. But I'm pretty sure even the GBA version's localization is kind of a mess. It's full of bugs. It's probably better than the SNES version, but I'm pretty sure it's still not that great. I could be wrong, though. Oh my god, what the heck? This place is a mansion! So we got one room. So where's Rend? 
like it. I like how every room is the exact same. No distinctive characteristics as to whose room it is? What a shame. So where's Rend? How many floors is this place? Oh, there he is. It's a good thing I figured we'd be having some guests around here. If I hadn't built as many rooms as I did, some of you guys would be sleeping on the floor. Wow. So he built every room. Oh, this is Sten's, I guess. Mister, oh my god. <laughs> I've been watching you for a while, and I've been wondering something. Not that I'm prying, but I'm dying to know. Who's more your type, Lynn or Nina? <laughs> hmm, what do I like more in a woman? A woman with a tail, or a woman with wings? <laughs> hmm... Ooh, that's a hard choice. Wings. <laughs> I see, I suspected as much. <laughs> oh, you sly devil, you. Ah, oh, Sten. What a freak. Oh, okay, so that must be my room. I love how he asked the question, who's more your type? Only downside to the retranslation is I really want to see how bad the dialogue would have been for, for these parts. <laughs> It'd probably be something like, which you like more, Nina Lin? <laughs> You know, you're lucky to have this chance to talk to a, a Windian. Windy tends to keep to itself, so it's a mystery to most outsiders. I can tell you all about it sometime. You got it, Nina. So this is Kant's room. Talk about cramped, I almost missed my locker room at the Coliseum. But it's your house, so you call the shots. What do you think? Too big? Too small? Just right? Uh, just right. Maybe a bit too many rooms. Although to be fair, I think there's a room for every party member, so maybe not too many. Still, it's a lot. Sheesh. Rand just went to town. I absolutely went to town. Oh, oh. Got really confused then. So, what do you think? Quite a fine bit, bit of workmanship, if I do say so myself. Drop in any time you want. You can swap around the members of your party. Now, ain't that convenient? Hell yeah, it is. Okay, so I can actually. What about. Bo? Oh, posh. Ooh, Sten's useful for getting around. But Ren's a... I would say he's a powerhouse, but to be fair, he's only level 8. So he ain't that great. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think who I could get rid of. I want to get rid of Sten, but I need him to, to cross the large gaps. I'm gonna get rid of Nina. Oh wait, this is who's in my party. Oh, bollocks. Right. Lynn, Sten, Rand? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You think this will be over soon? If that bat burglar went west, you'd better head after her and hurry. I'm starting to get cabin fever here. Okay. Yeah, I want to save. I can change party at the dragon statues. Okay, good. <laughs> if I had to come back here to change my party, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Considering how far away it is. Although it's weird, because on the... On the... Uh, ugh, what am I trying to say? In the first game, you could switch your team members around whenever you wanted. But, in to be fair, in that game you also had eight different, like, portraits in the menu. Huh. Oh well. If I have to do it at a dragon statue, that's fine. So now we have Rend. Let's get him leveled up! I mean, he is level 8, so he's probably not going to be that great. I don't even know if he's a outfitted, is he? Tandama, bandana, wristband, bare It doesn't seem like he's in that great of stuff. Not too... Didn't seem it, anyway. Oh crap, I'm like, where am I going? Oh my god, leeches! It might be a good idea to stop in at... I'm trying to think of... The town. I mean... I can't remember what the hell anywhere's called. Yeah, not not doing hunting. Not while I don't have bow. Then I'm probably going to switch between saying bow and bosh. I don't know, I'm used to saying bow. Yeah, well, what the hell was the village called? 
where the Colosseum is. It's absolutely just gone. I can't recall the name. But no, I'll stop in there and do some buying of stuff. Because there's probably certain things that Vren can equip that I never bought when we when we initially got him. Well, that actually reminds me. When I was, um... Because I had to replay through the game due to applying the translation patch. Because I did the Colosseum part again, I actually managed to save all of my money. Because unlike last time, I actually went to the inn and... Uh, not the inn. I went to the bank and deposited all of my money. So that was quite nice. <laughs> what can I do for you? No trade. Okay, he can't wear the ranger suit. Bronze helm he can wear. And an iron band. Well, there we go, it goes up a teeny bit. Wait a minute. Wait, really? The bronze helm's better than the glass one. I had no idea. I thought it was worse. Shoot. In that case, yes. Damn, I'm surprised. Alright. There we go. Perfect! I mean, I could have just bought the shield when we get to the next um, village. Were there any weapons that I just actually glanced by? I'm not really paying much attention, to be honest. Hexa's staff and a copper sword. Okay, there's no melee or fist weapon. Because that's what Rand uses, I think. Knuckle dusters and the like. As far as I remember, anyway. I really want to just go against stuff that's more my level. Because the amount of XP we're getting from these things is pitiful. Alright dude, cheers for stopping by. And have a good day. What he flies? So a Zetsy. Death blow. I'm surprised that I've not leveled up. I've been level 14 for well the entirety of this session. He did 29 damage. Ah oh dear. Rand, you really need to level up. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're called Hellbulls. Well, that's these. That's what these ones are called. We never actually went against the original Biru Birus, so I can't remember what they got changed to. I mean, I suppose the good thing about Rand being such a low level is the fact he's going to get a lot of levels. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Oh my god, Sten actually managed to kill something. In one shot. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> wow. Overkill! He's not leveling up yet. <laughs> he was only 200 XP away, so... I'm not entirely sure what's causing him to take so long. Oh. He's quite literally on the brink of leveling. Uh Alright, there we go. Perfect. I mean, I didn't really need Sten. Actually, no, I think I did. I'm not entirely sure what would have happened if I tried to get into Windia from the... the way we got in before. I don't know if it would have let us. Hmm. So that does hit everybody. Okay. Don't really want to use it, though. Oh, nice. Oh, really? No! Oh, great. Poison, poison! Great, three and four. Fantastic. What a waste. Eh, yeah, just do auto. I don't even know why I've not been doing that anyway. It's because I'm used to having Nina, so I have to do, like, attack, attack, special attack. There we go! He learnt Jolt. Very good. Right, get the hell to Windia. Before the poison kills me. I mean, the plus side is we should be getting quite a bit of XP from this. So that'll be the benefit of Rand. Ah, oh, crap. No! Oh my god, it's happened twice now. I've gotten killer blows on things that have got like three health. It's so annoying. 
I just wish Rand had better... Hey, I'm finally level 15. I just wish Rand had... better speed. There we go. Whew. I really hate how slow the text is. Would you like to spend the night? It's like how- that's how they talk. <laughs> so I am actually really curious. Can I change members from wherever I am? Oh my god, I can. That's cool. And honestly, I'm glad that that's the way it is. Sheesh. Otherwise, that would be... real bad. Alright, cool. It would just be annoying if you had to go all the way back to that house. It would make no sense. Alright, so what do we have? River's fist. Uh, rivet fist. <laughs> I can read. Ugh. It says that. Chainmail. He can't... What? Oh my god, he can't equip anything. Although, to be fair, his defense is pretty damn good. It's so expensive. I should probably, um... Salt my items. I don't think I've got anything new though. No, I didn't think so. Either way, onward to Capitan. I'll say while I remember. Let's save. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. I think I might have just suspended the uh, game. Shit. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! It's what happens when I'm not paying attention. I was pressing B to skip out of the stuff. Oh man, that was dumb. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I mean, the good thing is, it actually puts you to the title screen, whereas I know other games, when they say, would you like to suspend the game for now? What would usually happen, or in those games at least, what happens is, the game just comes up with a screen, and the only way to essentially get back into your save is by resetting the console. So thankfully that's not the way this game does it. I mean, it wouldn't be hard. I just have to go into RetroArch and reset it, but it would be a bit of a pain. I still can't believe I did that. I need to pay attention when I'm uh, saving. Probably be a good idea. Just kill everything, please. Come on already. Don't. Okay, good. Oh, so don't even think. Oh, there we go. I'm not entirely sure. Rand seems... I mean, the way he's built, you'd think he'd be... really tough. But I don't know. It seems he's got defense, so that's good. He also looks really weird from a side. It looks like he's got a beard. Like, obviously, it's... I think it's his peck, but it looks like a beard. <laughs> He looked- he looked a little ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Okay, two in a row. Ah, oh, I thought we were gonna be three for three. Done. Oh, death. We did get three death blows, so I mean, that worked. Not bad. Woohoo! Right, well, we're nearly back at Capitan. Ah! Uh, wow, I actually made it in. I'm surprised. Okay, so- Okay, there's a random woman. Okay. Oh. The last passenger to get on that boat was some freaky girl with bat wings. You think she's somehow behind this? Well, what do you know? Alright, let's try this again. Let's save correctly. I, still, I just hate the fact it has that. <laughs> I said, would you like to continue your journey? What most people would do is not get confirmation from the game to shut down. They would just turn off the console after saving. Oh god. Uh -huh. Hey big boy. Wanna party with me? But wait. I can't go back alone. If I don't get any takers, there's no telling what the boss will do to me. You understand, don't you? Don't worry, I'll show you a great time. You people wait here. This boy's got business with me. Hey. Yeah, Ryu's a big boy. There, everything's ready. You can open your eyes now. What the? Hold up, I know who you are. Hmm? Hmm? What's with that panicked look? You were told 
what you were volunteering for, weren't you? Sanamo, just what did you tell this boy? Well, I sure as hell didn't tell him you were going to use him as a, as a guinea pig. Do you want test subjects, or do you want to tell people the truth? You can't have it both ways, Granny. You use the old streetwalker routine again? Shame on you, Sanamo. You're grounded for two hours. Oh well, the boy's here, and that's all that really matters now. Oh, that's all- that's really all that matters now. Hold on tight, dearie. You're my ticket to making magical history. Uh-oh. So stop laughing like that. <laughs> Do you want to scare off another test subject? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now just sit back and relax, sweetie. This will only take a minute, and it won't hurt a bit. You might even enjoy it. See, so you and I are going to do a little tango called Fusion. You know the story. When a boy and a girl get together, sparks fly. Stop coming on to my test subject. The two of you have work to do. Now listen up. I'm only going to give this lecture once. Fusion is an extremely theoretical concept in magic. The idea is, an ordinary human being can be made much more powerful by being bonded with a shaman. Shaman, whatever. Sanamo and I are both shamans. But I'm the brains of this operation, so Sanamo is the one you'll be fusing with. Not everyone is a viable fusion candidate, the ideal candidate should be strong in mind and or body. And I suspect you might finally fit the bill. Enough small talk already, let's make some magic. What? Alright then, step inside the circle and let's get this show on the road. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hoo ya! Sanamo, Shaman of Fire, it's time to combine. Uh. What the fuck? I think I know what this is. Pretty sure. Are we able to become a dragon? Finally? Oh my god, we are. <gasps> yeah! What? What the? Where's all this excess power coming from? This wasn't in my calculations. <laughs> Rah! <laughs> Rah! Wait, where am I? Oh dear. Oops. This power is beyond anyone's control. Oh, control now. It's a berserker. Oh dear. Ah, uh, that's where it is. That's right. Yes, to the north of Capitan. Cool. Oh, <laughs> whoops. That, that shouldn't have been possible. How in the heck did you wind up with that genuine bona fide dragonic power? Now, oh, for such a nice looking boy, you sure do like it rough, don't you? Oh my god. The dra uh, dragonic energies completely threw off the fusion. Talk about unexpected. Well, Sanamo, you picked a strong boy, alright. He's so strong fusing with him would be like kissing a hurricane. So what do we do now? Our little lover's smack took out the whole house. Details, details. Forget fusion for now. This boy's dragon powers have got my <laughs> interest peaked. Ahem. Um. Hey, what's your hurry? I showed you how to unleash your inner dragon, didn't I? Don't you think you owe me a little something in return, like a new house? Nothing too fancy is all we ask, just a roof over our heads. A master bedroom, bathroom with shower, upstairs artist's studio, plush carpeting. Oh, and our own secret basement laboratory. Sanamo, I never knew you had good taste. Where did you pick that up? Anyways, just find us a house somewhere where the locals won't ask too many questions, okay? Things might get noisy. Oh, I have to take them back, don't I? God damn it. Now I'm on my own. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, I can become a whelp. Yay! Which one do I want to be? Yeah, let's become a frost whelp. Wait, I can only do it on one enemy? Oh, that seems shit. Whoa. <laughs> the way it looks. Oh my god, that's quite powerful. Aw, oh, man. I mean, they're cool, but they were so much better in the first game. And even in Breath of Fire 3? Maybe they get better. As the game progresses or something, I'm not sure. But in the first game, you could turn into a dragon. And you would have access to that dragon. For, I think, as long as your AP. Because you needed a certain amount of AP to maintain that form. But you could attack, or do spells, and in Breath of Fire 3 it got even better. Because it was the same deal, it was just, and you needed a certain amount of AP to maintain the form. Wait, so where's everybody else? Uh, wait. You're looking for your friends? They all went home looking real worked up over something or other. 
Oh. Oh, sh okay, cool. Well, this place is just perfect. Style, class, and utility. All in one. I love Bo's face. Look at his idle expression. Yeah, should I know you from somewhere? Move, Rover. <laughs> Jesus. Ryu, who's the old biddy? She's officially freaking me out. Wait, what? Miss No Manners wants our room? Nuh uh, no way. That's my hard work she's got her eyes on. No way am I gonna take this sitting down. Oh yes, this is a fine house indeed, but it could use one like one little extension. You there, Rover, you built this place, right? I need a laboratory built on. Asa. <laughs> For starters, my name's not Rover. For seconds, that's my room. And for thirds, I don't take orders from pushy old hags. I'm not getting through to this pooch here. If he's too dumb to understand what I want, then find me a real carpenter. I want this place remodeled ASAP. What part of you are not getting my room do you not understand? Hey Mr. Carpenter, this is a nice house you've built. Think I could move in? If you could add on a little, <laughs> an extra little cozy space, I'd just love it here. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> absolutely, positively, I'd do anything for a vision of loveliness such as you. Wait, you and the hag, and the hag and you? Ah, I'm being double teamed. <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> He's not my type anyway. Wow. You owe me one for this. Whatever that old biddy's hawking, but be hawking better be worth giving away my room. It will be, I'm sure. Where the heck's everybody else then? Ah, <laughs> oh, that was great. It just shows Bosch will do anything for a woman. He just says the same thing, really. What do you think? Fine bit of workmanship. Why do you have a board? It's got like a whiteboard on the back on the back wall. Don't make much sense, I don't think. Alright, same people. Yes. Downside is I have to go all the way over the bloody world again. Uh. Right, yeah, we need to find carpenters. Go right. Take care on your journey. Right, let's go. Hot damn. Wait a minute. If it still works. Ah, oh, crap, I don't think I have it. Oh no, I do. There we go, smoke bomb. Perfect. There, I should find, find more, uh, less enemies. Hopefully. Please work in my favour. Is it just going to pop up saying the smoke bomb ran, uh, ran out? It's like a repel for Pokemon, it's great. If I can get to a point where I actually want to be fighting the enemies... Uh, never mind. I think it wore off. Well, shoot. Okay, what are they called? Bilbul. That was it, not Biru Biru. Not Biru Biru. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh wow, Rand leveled up again! From literally nothing. 122 XP, which means we got... I don't even know. I was going to say 30, 32 XP each, but that doesn't add up. <laughs> nice. It's probably like 28 XP. Or something, not entirely sure. Righty ho! So, go back to Capitan to find a carpenter, and we go back to the house. Jesus. It's crazy, man. I really wish that just the weak enemies would not fight us. I wish they would realise that if they got into a fight with us, it meant death. And they just wouldn't bother. It would be so much better. Although, to be fair, we're not fighting all that many, so it's all good. And it's always Bilbles. What the heck, man? Either way. Hmm? Oh, why'd I do this? Uh, because I want to fail at life. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, I hate the hunting. I actually really like it if I'm using... Bow. Or Bosch. If I'm using Lin, then it sucks. You just have to be far too close to the enemies, and I don't like it. There we go! Wow. What? I got comboed. 
One anus. That's more like it. Good XP. Okay. Although it's still going to take forever for Ren to actually catch up to us. But I mean, I think he kind of contributes. He's not terrible. He has a lot of health. I mean, to be fair, by the time he gets to level 15, I think he'll probably have a lot more health than Ryu. I don't even know how much health I have. 105, and he's at 88. So, yeah. He only needs 500 XP as well. How much do I need to level up again? <laughs> Three and a half thousand. Yep. Not gonna be reaching that anytime soon. Ah, oh, crap. Me? There we go. Crap. You have initiative. I still can't believe we burnt down the woods. Also, the only thing I can really think... Or only time I can think to use the Dragon Transformations is in...